So we have found a number of oral bacteria that can translocate from the mother's oral cavity to her pregnant uterus and cause adverse pregnancy outcome. What kind of complication they cause depends on the host response and uh, at what stage the infection occur. So if it occurs early, it could cause uh, miscarriage. And if it occurs late, it could cause preterm birth. And if it's a severe enough, it could kill the fetus. So uh, the spectrum of outcome varies, but actually the underlying mechanism is very similar. The bacteria translocate uh, from the oral cavity through hematogenous transmission to the pregnant uterus and cause inflammation. So inflammation is a uh, characteristics shared by many, many different diseases from cardiovascular disease to periodontal disease to uh, pregnancy complications and cancer. So I think in the t in case of a pregnancy complication, we show that the bacteria can translocate from the oral cavity to the placenta and cause inflammatory response. So if we could control the inflammation, even if the bacteria could colonize, uh, we showed that in animals, that the bacteria could still colonize in the placenta in mice, but they did not cause uh, fetal demise. So inflammation is really a key factor of the disease. For adverse pregnancy outcomes to occur, it doesn't have to have severe periodontitis. We have reported several cases that in, the, uh, in that the women only had pregnancy-associated gingivitis, which is a very mild form of periodontal disease, and it's often overlooked. But when the pregnancy-associated gingivitis, in combination with some other medical conditions, could cause a very severe outcome, uh, we had reported a case of stillbirth, and then the mother, all she had was pregnancy-associated gingivitis. She did not have periodontitis, but in combination with respiratory tract infection, it killed her fetus. So I think the first thing is to get the gum in good health even before thinking about getting pregnant. And while pregnant, I think it's important to keep in mind that the hematogenous translocation occurs uh, with two factors to control. Uh, one is bacterial load, the other is gum inflammation. So I think it's important to have daily uh, oral hygiene practice to keep these two issues in check, to prevent bacteria from overgrowth and also to resolve the inflammation. I think that the dentist needs to be more vigilant. You know, if the, spot, if the dentist spots inflammation, I think that the inflammation needs to be taken care of, should be resolved, uh, rather than letting it continue throughout the pre pregnancy because as I mentioned earlier, the hematogenous translocation could occur anytime during the pregnancy and cause complications.